What is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? It's Tim. It is the Cowboys Daily Blitz for today. It's Friday. It is Eagles week. It's our favorite week as Cowboys fans, right? Um, Big matchup. A revenge game of sorts for the Cowboys after, man, that near miss on November 5th. Uh, Dak steps out of bounds on the two-point conversion. Would have made it a three-point game, and then maybe they have a chance to come down with a defensive stop. Uh, They can come down on the next possession and tie the game and maybe go to overtime. Of course, things would have played out completely different, Um, you know, had that two-point conversion been successful. But the the play that went out of bounds rather than in the end zone for the two-point conversion sort of ruined them that day. But kind of a revenge game here for the Cowboys. Uh, On Sunday night football, the, uh, you know, there's an interesting... Interesting narrative here surrounding the Cowboys this year. Um, of course, they're nine and three, second best, tied with the second best record in the league, with a couple of AFC teams and a few NFC teams. But they don't get any respect, and we've all heard it, right? As Cowboys fans, we've heard the narrative that, yeah, but who have they done it against, and who have they beaten? And you know, I get all of that. I hear it. I don't necessarily disagree with it, but they're, the fact is they've won nine games. Um, and so that takes some doing. I don't care who it's against. Now, they removed a little bit of that narrative when they were able to beat Seattle, who came into the game at 6-5. and five. They're sort of in playoff contention in the NFC, if you want to call them a playoff, a potential playoff team. Um, they were in the middle of the... Uh, NFC West fight with San Francisco, especially when San Francisco dropped three in a row. They were actually tied for the division lead with San Francisco at one point during that three-game losing streak that the 49ers suffered. But, um, you know, Dallas finally got a win over a 500 team, right? Uh, which dropped that team now to 6-6. Six and six. So, uh, But this this league just doesn't give, I don't know if it's the league or, you know, the national media, whatever, just doesn't give the Cowboys the credit that I think they deserve. Um, You know, if when you look at these other teams that are nine and three, okay, look at the NFC, the Niners and the Lions are both nine and three. They lead their divisions. Good for them. The Eagles are at 10 and two. They're a game ahead of Dallas, right? Uh, You have the Dolphins and the Ravens in the AFC. They're both nine and three. They lead their divisions. Dallas is in a difficult division. I get it. Um, So is it just because they don't lead their division that they're not getting respect? Is it just because of the, I don't even want to throw a college football term into it, the uh, strength of schedule? Um, You know, the eyeball test should tell you everything you need to know about how the Cowboys are playing and the fact that they're just walloping their opponents since the loss, the twenty-eight to twenty-three loss to the Cowboy or to the Eagles, uh, the Cowboys have won four in a row. Uh, they've scored forty plus points in three of those four, and allowed seventeen or fewer points in three of those four. So the team's kind of clicking here, and I think it's a good time to match up with the Eagles and get a little bit of that monkey off of the Cowboys back right if you can go in and beat um, the Eagles on Sunday night and I don't care if it's in overtime I don't care if it's by one just any kind of win number one it would extend your home winning streak who cares about that at this time of the year right you just want to rack up wins to get into the playoffs here Um, but man you would beat the best who some people think uh, arguably the best team in the NFL others would say San Francisco is probably the best team in the NFL, and I would probably lean that way if I had a say in it. But, I mean, the Eagles are certainly the best record in the NFL. So with a win on Sunday, the Cowboys and the Eagles would tie for the division. Um, I believe the Eagles have the tiebreaker, though. I mean, I know it goes head-to-head, and they'd both be one-and-one. Then I think it goes to division wins and then conference wins, and I haven't done the math, but I believe the Eagles would have the edge in the head-to-head. So now you need to be one better than the Eagles 
to actually win the division from them going into a really tough part of the schedule for Dallas. Of course, you play the Eagles, uh, 10 and 2. Then you go to Buffalo to play a sort of struggling but fighting for their playoff lives Bills team that isn't going to be a pushover, especially in December in Buffalo. Then you head down to play uh, Miami, one of the division leaders at 9 and 3 as of today. And then from Miami, you come home to play Detroit, a division leader, at 9-3 and three as we talk today, uh, before you wrap things up against the Washington Commanders uh, on January 7th to, uh, to, you know, maybe that's for the division. Maybe, you know, the Eagles do drop a game here. Uh, some of the Eagles, not nearly the, I don't have it in front of me, but not nearly the schedule that the Cowboys have here down the stretch. So, a win, it all starts with a win on Sunday. If you don't win on Sunday, you're playing for a wild card spot because you're not going to catch the Eagles with the, with the rest of the schedule that you've got. At least it's very, very unlikely. So uh, it would be 15 in a row for the Cowboys at home. You would bury the Eagles in, at AT&T Stadium. And uh, an interesting note that came out today as we're talking on Friday, it is the John Hussey officiating crew that uh, has been uh, been assigned to the Cowboys-Eagles game. They are a heavily, uh, I guess, an Eagles. Uh, they lean towards the Eagles, I guess, if you want to. If you, they're, they're, Eagles are 7-0. and Let's put it this way. The Eagles are 7-0 and when John Hussey's officiating crew uh, referees Eagles games, and that includes the uh, Cowboys Monday night football game lost to the Eagles last last season in which the Eagles were penalized two times to the Cowboys ten times. And it also includes the NFC Championship game last year where the Eagles edged out a an injury-depleted San Francisco team. San Francisco penalized 11 times in that game to the Eagles two times. So, yes, things... Officiating-wise, maybe not looking to go Dallas's way, but hey, if they've got to beat the Eagles and the referees, let's just, just go do it, if it's possible. Don't know that you could beat both. But let's give it a try, shall we? Um, so what are your thoughts on Cowboys-Eagles coming up here on Sunday Night Football? Reach out to me at IndyCarTim on Twitter, on Threads, or on X, on Threads. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Join the Fan Stream Sports Facebook group. We would love to have you over there talking to, about all of the shows, including Mike Fisher's Fish Report podcast. By the way, you can find that podcast on your favorite podcast app. It's not just on YouTube, but it is it is an actual podcast you can download and listen to at any time without having to watch it. As are all of our Fan Stream Sports shows, including the Norm Hitzkiss uh, Avenue. Just wondering with Norm Hitzkiss now heard on Fanstream Sports over at fanstreamsports.com and on your favorite podcast app. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll have some updates throughout the weekend as we get closer to game time. And until then, boys and girls, we'll see you.